As you may be able to hear, we are all systems go in this household right now. We are having so much of the renovations work being done on the ground floor over these next few, I would say couple of months to basically the point of having downstairs as old renovation, joining it in with the new one, the new extension, and it all hopefully smoothly coming together. Well, hello there. Hello, Susan. Deliveries. Yeah, I'm a bit poorly, poorly Susan. Oh, your empty coffee cup and your rubbish is in there. Yeah, that is in there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so. around sitting in the lobby because I might go early and drive separate and go to Costco. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, all systems are go with the house at the moment. We've got lots planned. I'm not 100% sure where we're going to go with this vlog today, but it is Vlogmas season. It is the season for vlogging, regardless of feeling poorly. I feel like it's that time of the year as well, the build up to Christmas. So much to do. Tom was ill, so then I got ill. We have a few exciting things planned. We've got Peter K. I'm going to go see some friends, take some prezzies over and... Yeah, over the next day or two, I thought I would do a bit of a vlog and show you guys what we're up to. I might show you some house updates too. Above all, let's just see where this vlog takes us. I'm gonna pop into next as well because I need to pick up one more thing for a friend who I'm going to tomorrow. So I'll show you some next install clips as well. But I have had a delivery this morning. It is household related. So I thought I would share it with you. It's in my filming room actually. So we'll go through there in a second. Um, it's from Cherries. And if you don't know what Cherries is, I have worked with them before. They're kindly sponsoring today's video and they are a app or website that you can shop. So many amazing like household essentials, homeware items. They've got loads of Christmas bits gifting they've got stuff for kids stuff for your pets food items they've even got a new in this week section which i feel like i'm constantly browsing just to catch up and see what's new in to cherries every week but yeah i will leave a link to cherries in the description box below along with a discount code i actually have two if you are a brand new customer to cherries you've never shopped it before you can get 25% off your order by using the discount code FF25 with a minimum spend of £20 and free shipping. And if you're an existing customer, you get free shipping with the discount code FF. So happy shopping. Let's head into my filming room now. Let's show you um, the bits that I did pick up, unbox them. And I actually have loads of gifting bits that I got for Tom's nieces, as well as obviously some bits for myself as well. I might just have a quick cheeky breakfast first but I'll see you guys in just a sec and yes I am wrapped up in a scarf and a gilet because the builders have like the doors open they're running to and from and all the cold air it's freezing in this house we're keeping all the doors shut heating on in the bedrooms apart from that everywhere else it's freezing so I've just laid everything out this is the cherry box delivery that I got a huge huge box so lots to share with you some bits for Tom's nieces I'm going to start with sharing with you some bits I got for myself though um firstly for Christmas day we've got a couple of dogs in the family Barney included so I thought it'd be quite fun to give them these dog Christmas crackers and I know Barney's going to get far more enjoyment in actually just ripping the cracker apart than playing with the toy itself but yeah, I thought that was a great idea. Then I always stock up on these from Cherries. They're really affordable price point on there. So it's the Vermouche Pet Hair Dissolver. You just pop them in the wash. This comes with three sachets per box. So I get through these pretty quickly. Like whenever I'm doing his towels or bedding or anything, I do that. Um, a Fairy Outdoorables. I love the, the Lenore Outdoorables anyway. But Fairy is my go-to, as you can tell there. Um, washing up. Li liquid detergent tabs whatever I end up using fairy is a go-to for me so I got these non-bio extra extra large pack um for yeah our washing and a Mr Sheen polish some other cleaning products I got this Febreze Ambi Pure I don't think I've ever got the pet odor eliminator scent in the actual plug-in so I got that it's even got a Barney on the front and then I also got the in-wash scent boosters um, these are incredible as well and again I get through these pretty quickly so I've got the fairy ones I don't think I've ever used the 
fairy ones before. These are the latest ones I've been using. So I've got another one of these. They're the new Mrs. Hinch scent of Frosted Eucalyptus. Love them. They've got some lovely wax melts on there as well at the minute. And this one is in the Mrs. Claus Bakery Gingerbread. But yeah, they had lots of different wintry scents as well. And then they had this Merry Christmas Bunting. This is two meters, just plain and simple. Hessian. Oh, there you go. You can see on the back what it looks like. When we eventually have a fireplace, hopefully next year, I thought that would look lovely on there. Even if it's not on a fireplace, maybe like on a stairs, on the stairs or something. But yeah. Got that, super affordable, as were these kitchen label stickers. Cannot wait for my pantry of dreams. Couple of other bits from the Christmas section. This countdown calendar type um, decoration, as well as these matching box of coasters. They also had a large, I think it was nine pounds, like a full display of houses, wooden houses, which I was very tempted to get actually. I'm kind of regretting I didn't with having those two as well. Got some wrapping paper, some pet wipes then this is from sass and bell merry christmas and it's a little hanging mouse with a jumper and a little note saying santa's north pole so yeah i've got that to go on my little tree in our bedroom got some treats myself these jingly bells i love white chocolate and then also a pet stocking this is just a little mini stocking which i'm going to put um my brother's dog's a little present or something in as for the other side of the room i have laid out everything that i have picked up most of these if not all will probably go in the stockings for tom's nieces i thought they would just had such a good selection of bits and bobs for like pre-teens like sort of eight nine ten year old they obviously had some bits for younger kids as well and um yeah i just thought this is a nice little selection so i've got them some fuzzy makeup bags, a ring light, some ear warmers, some sweets, pop tarts, makeup brushes, this karaoke microphone, a couple of hot water bottles, a throw, cozy throw, selection box, some face masks, some little invisi bobbles, some little snowflake earrings, some magic sand, and then this set from Impulse. I used to love Impulse at their age, so this is like a set of four different scents. And then as well, I used to love these and Vaseline kit as well. And then this little um, nail polish kit. Some nice kind of glitzy festive shades for like um, school holidays that they can wear. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up this time around from Cherries. Again, I will leave a link in the description box along with a discount code. I always get asked which shops I go to so this next is the one in Hanforth I loved the gingerbread selection of items these little napkin rings mug sets I loved these coasters I just thought they were adorable and also they had some really nice jugs great for hosting for Christmas and then I loved these little green wellies I actually already own that bauble um it just reminds me of like barber or something like that and yeah I love them and then they had this wax melt calendar this cute tree tree topper i've never seen a wreath hanger with a star decoration on it as well which i quite liked lots of kind of frosty um sparkly bits i loved these charger plates but 14 pounds each it would get pretty pricey if you're hosting for quite a few people this year um alongside mugs and other bits in the kitchen section they also have in this next a big bath and body works yes so I'm back from uh, my little trip out to Next and I thought I would just do you, do you, show you a few home updates. So this is our current view from our, basically our hallway upstairs. We have had all the steps kind of taped up. Might be able to see this metal track running along here, kind of creating a bit of a stud. Um, to be able to hang this visqueen layer to just help protect the dust from coming upstairs. And then down in the basement, Bonnie's a little bit damp from being in the garden, aren't you, bud? So this is our kind of temporary setup down here. We've brought down the microwave, brought down all the other appliances too, but yet to use them. We've just so far anyway had um, either meals out, takeaway, ready meals um maybe after christmas we'll probably get more into like cooking but until then this has been fine we've bought this little fridge from uh where did we get this from curry's it's just like a box standard under counter fridge which will be ideal for us to keep down in here for 
um, future for like drinks, spare drinks and stuff. We've got a chest freezer as well there if we need to. Barney's food. He's got a little setup under the stairs, haven't you? You good boy. And then we've pretty much been in this cinema room. Cinema room, which is basically a lounge. Looks a bit disheveled because I've not tidied it from last night. I had pizza night in here last night, so I just need to rearrange the throws and stuff. Um, but also with my laptop being down here, I can work from down here. We've got a lamp that we just put on. All cozy vibes in the evening. I actually love it in here. I do have a curtain pole there and some curtains, some linen curtains to go up here. Just to close off those um, doors. But... Just one of those things that we haven't got around to doing. And I feel like we've got a bit of a list going of all of like handyman job type things <laughs> that we can get someone in to do that. That is the setup. And then in here, it's becoming a bit busier because obviously we are in here as a bit of a kitchen. Builders are just out there tiling. No, they're grouting the tiles, sorry. But yeah, just washing, coats, boots everywhere. Got a wash load on currently. And then we've just brought down here like knives, salt and pepper, um, and washing up like we do all the washing. And also, well, in fact, I actually love this one, the Rosemary and Thyme Neptune one, which I started using. And then I thought, well, you know what? I might as well finish this one that we had upstairs and then carry on with that. It smells lovely. And then I can just use this glass bottle to top it up as and when um, this is empty. We're just the cheap stuff you know but yeah we've got toaster and kettle down here kitchen roll i'm just bringing some more bits down as i go and trying to like organize through everything but yeah that's the kind of situation down here let me show you the building progress now oh you're a good boy good yeah good Happy. really good yeah thank you so they basically grouted all of the um, coping stones with this kind of like light like sand color and then they're going to be grouting the tiles today. So you need a bit of a clean first. And we've gone for like a beige kind of colored grout from Top's Tiles. Um, just basically it's, well I say, I say beige, it's more like a gray, it's the same color as the tiles. There's a lot of like gray tones and yellowy tones in these tiles. So um, yeah, it'll match in quite nicely. And then inside we have builders cracking on insulating. And all of the stud work that's getting done. Basically, we're using this Kingspan insulation both in the walls and also like a thick one in the ceiling for regs. And then we have electricians and plumbers in as well this week just to do like a kind of finish off the first fix. It's like we need some more lights in here, which will be the pantry. We're going to have some under unit spotlights. And then also we're going to have wall lights in that downstairs Louis, the side of the mirror. And they've basically ripped out all of the corridor now so we have no carpet left and um, this is the other side of the staircase where you can see that this screen layer basically protecting upstairs um, but yeah it's back to brick we will at some point have to have this rebuilt and um, we're just kind of prolonging it as long as possible for different reasons but yeah that is how that's looking that radiator is going to get ripped off tomorrow and then we will be trying to decide what to do in this kind of porch area. With this bit of a lip here, we kind of want to keep that. So what we might do is towel on top of these tiles to be able to keep a lip for the underfloor heating to run up to them or up to that lip. And yeah, and then obviously order a brand new front door, which quite a lot of the other houses on this street, which are built similarly, they have a full, they don't have this side panel. So I'm thinking about removing this and this and just having one big door with the little um, glass dome shaped bit above it. That's what the other houses have and it looks nice and grand and yeah, I think that's what we're gonna go with. And then in here, we have now emptied all of the cupboards. Everything is bare, ready to be ripped out on Saturday. I think that's getting done. So all of this room is gonna be completely ripped out by then. I just need to take down those curtains. I need to empty the freezer. The fridge is already empty. Uh, I think that's it. Obviously like my shoes that have got so dusty, I need to give them all a big clean and pop them somewhere, probably downstairs. Uh, and then that TV and TV unit, the sofa, I think we'll probably just get rid of on Facebook. I really wanna keep this piano. Look at it, it's so dusty. I really want to keep it though. So I think what I'm gonna do is keep it until the reno is done. See if it fits in that like kind of new extension area. If it doesn't, I will sadly 
say goodbye to it but I would like to keep it I just don't want to keep it in a bedroom or in the basement because I just know that I'll never play it um so yeah that needs a bit of TLC once the reno is done we had an Ikea wardrobe but we never got around to building I mean we kind of kept it for the intention of maybe having it in the basement for like coats storing coats which I do think would be handy but that storage room currently is full and then yeah this tv and tv unit the tv actually was left with the house and then there's just bits in there that I need to get like those books and my white company brochures I need to take them back downstairs in the basement I'll probably do that now actually um, but yeah, that is the current like house update situation. It's all going to look like that very soon. And then it will all look like that Kingspan installation, silver walls. And then it gets plasterboarded, painted, kitchen is ordered. But I'll update you more in like a home updates with all of that very, very soon. Like a bit more in depth. It's just a quick overview for now as to how it is currently looking. Just coming back in my film room, I've got a load of Christmas wrapping to do for going to some friends tonight, going to see some girlfriends, and we're just gonna have some nice yummy Christmas food, some nibbles, some catch-ups, and I thought I would wrap a load of presents of stuff that, I mean, I've got them each one gift that I've obviously bought, and then the rest of them I have to wrap for just kind of things that like, I've maybe featured in gift guides or a bit of PR. It's always nice to like be generous with friends and family with stuff like that because obviously I don't need 10,000 moisturizers, you know. There's only so much moisturizer I can get through. So as much as I appreciate brands sending them to me, if they send me spares or if they send me stuff that I think maybe isn't appropriate for my skin, then it's quite nice to, and it's not just beauty things, but anything else or things that I shop for, for gift ideas, gift guides that I do. Obviously I just have an accumulation of things that I don't need. So I gift them to friends and family. Okay, so they are the gifts I'm taking for them and for Mel's dog, Benji. I've got him a dog gift as well, or a couple of things in there, some treats. And then this is the pile of gifts I've wrapped up. So I've not spent too much time and effort on these ones because obviously there's a lot of them. I think I might just do a bit of a game whereby, well, not even necessarily a game, but it's just a free-for-all take your turn and each person picks a gift out so that they each end up with a small pile of gifts each and they don't know what they are. So what I've decided to do this year as well, I thought I would just mention it, is get a lot of sacks and like big stockings just because I find it really easy to break down and categorise everything. Plus I do like to get, I end up getting a bit carried away and get quite a few presents for people and you know if I've got anything that I've been sent maybe that I don't need a lot of the times during the year I'll donate it but at Christmas it means friends and family get spoiled so I've got a sack full of prezzies for Barney there mine and Tom's is there as well Tom's got his gifts in and then for my family like mum dad brother that is just kind of an accumulation of their presents so each one 
will get their own um, little sack. These are just perfect from TK Maxx or HomeSense. The smaller ones, this size, are $5.99. The larger ones are $9.99. And then those boucle stockings, I think they were about £15 from memory. Look, can you see the Ikea dog poking out the top? That's definitely Barney's stocking. Um, I love these. We're going to get these um year in year out but these are great to gift to people and then they can reuse them if they want i also got two more of these from home sense for tom's nieces but they're already wrapped and in fact i'll go show you those now oh it's dark in here it gets dark so early now okay let's just put on the christmas tree lights so yes their sacks are here i've just popped a little tag on for them in fact yeah i was going to show you but they're all tied up let's see if i can open it easily enough because of where i've tied the labels it makes it difficult to open it up but if you head on in there can you see some chocolate and lots of different gifts wrapped up i like to use different wrapping paper i feel like for some reason especially when you're doing presents for kids like this with no extra fancy bows or anything like that for some reason, having presents with different wrapping paper, I feel like it makes it look like there's more. I'm not going to lie, I've quite enjoyed having these gift sacks sat in this room. It just adds a little bit of festive kind of decoration as well. In fact, I should probably have them next to this. I just didn't want to get it too close to the radiator with there are a few yummy treats in them. And this is Barney's polar bear that he got for his birthday. Obviously, he's getting a new dog for Christmas, but... He got a polar bear for his birthday. He sleeps on our bed now, especially with the renovations and everything going on downstairs. It's just so cold that we just keep the bedrooms nice and warm, nice and toasty. So yeah, he has now joined us on the bed. Obviously he's not here right this second, but yeah, polar bear has to come into the bed with us every single night. If it's not polar bear, it's Ikea dog. home just chilling down in the basement the cinema room is pretty much now where we belong we're gonna do a big move down of all of our stuff tomorrow just to make sure everything in that ground floor is clear and the space is all done ready for the builders to crack on very exciting times ahead very much looking forward to it but yeah i hope you enjoyed this little vlog for vlogmas episode two next one will probably be driving home for Christmas because I'm going a bit earlier this year to my parents. I'm going to spend a full week there, allow the builders to crack on. So me and Barney are going to go spend some time with my family, which I'm very much looking forward to. I want to watch all the Harry Potters in a row, undisturbed, PJs on, just chill out and spend some time with some family. So yeah, that might be my next Vlogmas episode. And then it's Christmas crazy 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 but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video thank you to cherries for very kindly sponsoring it don't forget to use those discount codes ff25 if you're a new customer where you can get 25 percent off and if you're already an existing customer you can use the code ff for free shipping my throat makes me sound a lot iller than i actually am so apologies for that throughout this video if it's been intermittent here there and everywhere it's just it's just the time of the year but thank you so so much for watching nonetheless hope you guys are all having a lovely festive december and i look forward to seeing you all very very soon in my next video bye guys <laughs>